Hey YouTube, it's Daredevil Coaster Riders, and today you guys might be noticing that I have another 10 year plan which is in front of you guys. It's this time, it's a King's Island 10 year plan. Because last time I did a Zero Point 10 year plan, and now I sh I'm doing a King's Island 10 year plan. And right now I'm making 10 year plans of Carowinds, King's Dominion, California's Great America, and Canada's Wonderland. So don't expect to see another 10 year plan come out in the next couple days. So now let's get into this video. <clears throat> Sorry about that. In 2011, so let's go back 10 years in 2011. They got Windseeker, which is the same at almost every other Cedar Fair park that you visit, like 300 feet observation ride. And also in 2011, they brought Dinosaurs Alive, which only lasted for a couple of years. And I'll get to why it only lasted for a couple of years. Now going into 2012, they renamed their water park to Soak City, and it becomes a successful. A lot of people start going to that park instead of like just their old name which I cannot remember for some reason <laughs> so they had some new things into that park they had like a some new restaurants and a couple new new slide complex and now going into 2013 that's when they brought they did dinosaurs alive touch up they changed up dinosaurs alive a bit and added some new things into that for to attract people and also they brought a new show into Kings Island, and it became successful. And now going into 2014, everyone should know what happened that year. In 2014, brought Banshee, the world's tallest, longest, fastest, most inversions on a B&M inverted coaster. It becomes very successful in 2014, and it's one of Kings Island's best roller coasters. It's been five years since Diamondback that opened in 2009, and then five years later they get Banshee, and a lot of people like it, and it's still a good B&M invert, and it's still one of the best B&M inverts up to date. Now going into 2015, they brought new rides into Planet Snoopy. Two new ones, they brought Woodstock Gliders and Snoopy's Space Buggies, and those rides were in one a couple areas of the Planet Snoopy and it becomes successful. A lot of kids like it and it's a good ride for like the kids to ride like every time they visit. In 2016 Cedar, um, I mean Kings Island they get um, Tropical Plunge in their water park and it's a, on this new slide complex that has multiple slides to go on when you go there and it becomes successful. A lot of people like it and that's good for like the families so they can have fun getting wet when they're going down like very slippery slides and has a lot of slides like a lot of steps like I've never been there but I'm hoping next couple years I'll go there. Now in 2017 is their next major year because it's would have been three years after their last roller coaster. They brought ba Mystic Timbers which is a GCI wooden also known as Great Coasters International and it becomes like a lot of people's number one favorite roller coaster and it's a good one that they needed because they needed another good wind coaster and and I've heard it's a lot of people's favorite roller coaster number one like with um, Diamondback and yeah is in 2017 also they um, closed Dinosaurs Alive that was the last year for Dinosaurs Alive because it didn't become popular because a lot of other Cedar Fair parks decided to remove their Dinosaurs Alive and King's Island decided, no, why don't we move, remove this, because no one likes this, so let's get rid of this for something better in the future. And I'll get to that why. In 2018, they brought Coney Barbecue, which is a new restaurant. And new restaurant in King's Island, going up into Coney Mall area. And also, that year, Firehawk bit the dust. It closed for good after 17 seasons with... Five, six, five seasons at Geauga Lake, then 11 seasons at Kings Island, and that one gets scrapped for good and doesn't come back. I know a lot of people thought, oh, is this getting relocated? The answer is a big fat no, so. And now going into 2019, a lot of you should remember this. 
They brought Kings Mills antique cars. Their antique cars came back from a long time ago since Kings Island removed them. And it became successful because a lot of people missed this attraction. Now it came back after a long time and they say, Ha, ah, we have it back now. Yay, let's go on it. So now, also in 2019, Vortex bit the dust after 33 seasons because it reached the end of its service life and it was the trim breaks that's why it became, that's why it retired in 2019. And also, I know a lot of people thought, oh, is this right getting removed in 2021? Nope, it did not. It got removed in 2019. What I thought, I thought this ride was going to get axed in 2018, but Firehawk took that over, and I said, okay, 2021, and then what happens? 2019 is their last year, so now going into 2020, all of you should know this, Kings Island is bringing Orion, which is their B&M Giga Coaster, 287 feet width, a 300-foot um, drop, and has eight hills, airtime hills, and no one has written it yet, but I'm hoping it will become successful this year. So, and I'm hoping it might becomes, become everyone's new favorite roller coaster then. Crazy lines, I guess? Now right here, here is where I predict what I think is going to be coming in the next 10 years, starting with 2021 until the year 2023. And now what I think is coming in 2021, and before I say this, these are all my opinions. If you have anything to say what, about what I say, please say it in the comments down below. So... In 2021, I think what's going to be coming in 2021 will be a new attraction. Something like Forbidden Frontier at Cedar Point since Forbidden Frontier became successful in 2019. A lot of people thought it was fun to do, like a good mystery to do. And I'm pretty sure it's going to expand to like all the other Cedar Fair parks. Like I'm pretty sure Kings Island's going to get it. Canada's Wonderland is going to get it. So, yeah. Like, where would they put it? Like, they would have to figure that out. Maybe behind, like, where near the Beast. Because that would be, like, a good area to, like, do, like, something like this. So, now going into 2022. A lot of you should know what this is. Because in 2022 is Kings Island's 50th anniversary. Because the park opened back in 1972. And now in 2022 is going to be... 50 years since Kings Island opened, so what I think I could see coming that year is some new food, new shows, and a, possibly a thrill ride coming because in 2021 I don't think they'll get a thrill ride, but in 2022 they'll get a thrill ride since in 2020 they got Orion, and then 2022 is going to be the next thrill ride year because this park opened in 72, and it's going to be a big year for Kings Island since it's been open for 50 years. Now going into 2023, I think it's going to be Kings Island's next roller coaster. They're getting a B&M dive coaster. Why do I say it's going to be a B&M dive coaster? Well, you know that um, they just removed the roller coaster in 2019, and Orion opens in 2020, so, and Kings Island's been doing a three-year gap with all their roller coasters. Like, they opened Banshee in 2014, three years later, Mystic Timbers in 2017, now Orion in 2020, and I think it's going to be 2023, it's going to be the B&M Dive Coaster, because I think Kings Island needs to build up their B&M collection since they got, um, in 2009 they got Diamondback, and then they got Banshee, then Orion, so I think they need to work with their B&M collection, so, and I think it's going to be the Dive Coaster in 2023. Where are they going to place it? You guys know I just said Vortex just got the axe already, so and I think this would be a good area to put it one step closer using the lamp behind the racer, and, and I think that would look good, and like it could go like I don't think they would use this area like if you remember me saying like uh attraction like um Forbidden Frontier would go like around where my mouse is like a spinning so and I think the dive coaster would go here maybe go out into here a bit and I think that would look cool if they did that like same as vortex like go up like right here go up like dive down like go through multiple inversions then come back and I think that would be a good fit for the park and besides that what I also can see going in, on in 2023 I could see in vertigo 
closing for good because I'm pretty sure by that time Invertigo is not going to be that popular anymore because a lot of people don't like these Vacoma boomerangs because they say they're rough and like the inverted ones they're rough and I've heard stuff about these so and I think that would be a good addition, a good idea to like remove it because so they can like open up land and I'll get to why I think that would be a good idea to remove it and now going into 2024 It'll be a year after they got something big, so I could see in 2024 is a Soak City expansion, new slide complex, a new restaurant, or and maybe a new water park name since a lot of the other Cedar Fair parks have been like getting rid of the name Soak City, and I think that would be a good fit for Kings Island. Like I'll, I know you, some of you can hate me for saying change the water park name again since they did that in 2012, and. I think it's time they add like expand their water park a little more, like add like a good slide complex somewhere and um a good new restaurant because if you guys know like in California's Great America they open South Bay Shores and they add some new slides, new restaurant, and I think that would be perfect for Kings Island in twenty twenty four. And also in twenty twenty four, I can also say Congo Falls is gonna bite the dust because I'll get to why I think Congo Falls will close for good in 2024. So now going into 2025, what I can see coming that year is new Planet Snoopy ride because it would have been a while since they added something in Planet Snoopy and I'm pretty sure it would be a good addition to add like a good new ride, maybe a new coaster into Planet Snoopy. And a lot of kids would like that because I'm pretty sure with the little kids they would like a good roller coaster too practice riding before they go to like the big ones and that would be a perfect addition in 2025. Now in 2026 is what I think is going to be their next major year. In 2026 I think they're going to be getting an RMC Raptor or the RMC T-Rex and an update to the front gate because if you guys notice like that like King Cedar Point and Carowinds, they updated their front gates. And I know this front gate is kind of old, and I think it would be a good idea to renovate it. Like maybe put a roller coaster in the front of the park, like what um Cedar Point and Carowinds did. And I they would not put. I don't think they would put like a wing coaster or gigas because they already have a giga coaster, and, and they would not put a wing coaster. So and that they would not steal Cedar Point's ideas since Cedar Point's like a couple of miles away up in Ohio. So and I said an RMC Raptor or T Rex. I would go for the T Rex model than the RMC Raptor because the RMC Raptor is mainly for small parks, and the RMC T Rex is for bigger parts parks so and where would they place it because they just have removed in vertigo a couple of years ago one step closer congo falls yeah put the station right here and also use the land right here one more thing bam this would be like a good addition to the park if they were to add a new coaster in the front gate and redo the front gate like station could start here or here then like just go over like what Cedar Point did with Gatekeeper and they would have to like figure out ways on how they could like make it look very good so and yeah that's what I think is coming in 2026 because it would have been three years after their dive coaster and 2026 would be their next roller coaster because three years interval is what Kings Island is doing and also I'm gonna throw this out the bat is gonna close for good in 2026 and I'll get to why I think the bat is gonna close it's because around this time these aero suspended roller coasters they're reaching re they're reaching the end of its serve their service life and it's really hard to maintain these types of rides since their manufacturer is dead and it's really hard to like get parts for these rides and ridership is pretty low every once in a while so and I think this would be a good one to remove and put something better and I'll get to what I think it could replace so now in 2027 um, it's going to be a year after they got their biggest investment, the RMC T-Rex is what I'm going to say. In 2027, they're going to be getting a new thrill ride because it would have been a long time since they got a thrill ride and a new restaurant because cause their last thrill ride would have been in 2022 for their 50th anniversary. And I think in 2027, they're going to get a brand new thrill ride. I don't know what type of thrill ride they would get, but something good that 
can fit in their lineup of thrill rides and and where could I see it going? I could see it going into where the flight commander is, which is near like the racer. And I don't know if that spot is still available or not, but Kings Island will find land where they could like put something like this. And now going into 2028, I think what they're going to be doing is they're going to be adding some new family rides because, like the last couple of family rides they've added, they added um Kings Mill antique cars, and it would be a long time since that and. Like, where would they place it? Somewhere like Planet Snoopy. Like, they need another good family ride in their lineup of family rides, so. And I think something good. I don't know what I would have to say. Maybe a family wind coaster or whatever if they can fit into their lineup, into the park. So now going into 2029, it's going to be their next big year. It would have been three years after this. And I know you guys might think it what it is. And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, is it a new, another roller coaster coming to Kings Island? And you're correct. Yep, another roller coaster, a B&M wing coaster coming to Kings Island's lineup because by this time, Kings Island would have five B&Ms. And I think that will make um, all, um, Kings Island a good park, having another good B&M coaster in their lineup. And I think this will be good so they can, like... So there could be another wing coaster to go to if you're like far away from like Cedar Point or Holiday World, which they have wing coasters or Dollywood. And I think this would be a good addition to the people in Cincinnati, Ohio. So, and where would this go? In the Bat's location, because if you remember back in 2026, the Bat would get the axe for good because of its service life. And it would fit perfectly in this area. And then this is, I don't know why this is here, because Google Maps should have updated. Google Earth should have updated it already, and this is where Banshee is. Now it's on a beast, guys. Also, one step closer, bam, right here. Use the land back here, and I don't know if Kings Island owns this land or not. But I could see it go, like, have this station right here. Like, make it, like, a lot of the multi-inversion looping coaster. And, and I think this would be a really good addition to go all the way over here since the bat was just removed and I know some people were thinking in 2014 or was it 2013 or 14 that they would get um, a new roller coaster a being a wing coaster but then they decided to bring Banshee instead and they um, teased something like they're bringing a wing coaster but they decided to redo their suspended coaster and call it the bat maybe they'll make it like a bat themed ride their um, being a flyer being a wing coaster if they got if they get one in 2029 because so now going into 2030 is going to be their final year I could see them getting like a new family ride and a new show something that will attract all a million of people to see the show and and I'm hoping it'll be very successful in 2023 because it would be like a good thing Kings Island would add like a new a good new show is what a lot all the parks all Cedar Fair parks need good show, good rides, and I'm pretty sure by um, by 2030, Kings Island will have like a good collection of roller coasters by then. They'll have more roller coasters in the future, no matter what. And now going into what I think is coming in 2021 to 2030. And 2021 is a new attraction for Ben Frontier. 2022 is Kings Island's 50th anniversary. 2023 will be their B&M dive coaster. 2024 will be a Soak City expansion. 2025, Plant Snoopy Ride. 2026 will be an RMC Raptor or an RMC T-Rex. I'm going to have to go for the RMC T-Rex than the Raptor since T-Rex goes to bigger park parks. And I'm pretty sure by that by that time, the RMC T-Rex will be developed completely and the RMC Raptor will be successful. In 2027, they'll get a new Thrill Ride or a restaurant. Like, I don't know why I said or. 2028, a new family ride. 2029, a B&M wing coaster. And you guys heard two B&Ms coming in this decade. Plus an RMC Raptor. That would be T-Rex. That would be three coasters this decade. Because last decade, they got three coasters. And a decade before, I, before I think they got like three or four coasters before Cedar Fair bought the park. And then 2023... I don't know why this has says off here. It's supposed to say new family ride and show. So just ignore that, guys. 
So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the Instagram guys, Daredevil Coaster Riders. This is supposed to be a lowercase D, not a uh, uppercase uppercase D, lowercase guys. So yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. See you in the next 10-year plan. Can Canada's Wonderland or Carowinds. So peace out.